Hey guys, it's Kim from Honey Trail Farm. I'm coming to you with a fresh face this morning because I kind of thought that I would share my homesteady organic routine, I guess. A few years ago, I started looking into, it started with your food. What is in the food, okay? You really Google it, really freaks you out. So I started to change my diet and all of the, none of this was overnight. All of it was just a little at a time. I feel like that's how you make the best changes is a little at a time because if you do everything at once, it's really hard. Um, but after the food portion, then I started to think, what's on my skin, you know? You're absorbing everything through your skin. And so I started to make like lotions and soaps and things like that, and that's fun. And I've never stopped. <laughs> I use like all natural skincare and even hair care. I finally found stuff that works on my curly hair, you guys. So if you have curly hair like me, you're gonna want to do this because my hair has never been better. So this isn't for everyone. A lot of homestead ladies are comfortable with bare skin and they don't have hair like mine and they can just wash and go and that's fine. You do you, girl. But in my former, la former life, I was actually a licensed cosmetologist. <laughs> so I like putting on makeup and I like doing my hair. Actually, I hate doing my hair, but I like when it's done. So those aren't things that I wanna give up personally. Like I don't feel me unless I have a little bit of makeup on. And I think that's fine. But my first step, I've been making this. This is new to me. So this is, <laughs> I didn't go by any guidance. I just made it up. Um, this is comfrey infused oil. I think I just did olive oil. So, um, every year I'll make a big batch of comfrey oil. You can use it for tons of things. I found it works really, really well on my skin. So comfrey oil, and then I did Jehovah oil and something else. I think it's just Jehovah oil infused with coffee. Um, coffee has caffeine in it. It's an antioxidant, so it's going to tighten your skin a little bit, I guess. I don't know. Um, I know that I'm only 31, but my 31-year-old skin is not the same, you know, as a teenage skin. You get older and you start to notice all the things you don't like about it. <laughs> but I will put a little bit of this on twice a day. So I'll put it on in the morning and I'll put it on in the evening and I have pretty combination skin, so it's not dry and it's not super oily. It can be either one at any, any moment's notice. Um, but with my experience, I haven't noticed my skin be greasy. Now it is, it is a little greasy, but I like it. I like it dewy. I like it to look um, moisturized, I guess is what I mean. So I use this oil. I also put this oil on my hair. I put it on everything. Okay, next step would be makeup. And that one took me the longest to find because even the organic brands of makeup, you start to look into the ingredients and it's like, girl, you're lying. This is not that organic. <laughs> and what I have found that I recently just replaced all my makeup, I did spend a small fortune, okay? But I'll tell you the basics because I just wear the basics. Toops and Co. I looked up, because I am a researcher, so I won't just take your word for it, I'm gonna look up everything. Um, so when I heard about this company from the Rhodeses, I have been thinking about it for years and I finally did it and I bought it and I really like it. You know why? Because you can read every single ingredient. None of them are like a weird scientific word that you don't know. And um, I don't like to wear a ton of things on my skin, to be honest with you. Uh, I do like concealer under my eyes just because I have dark circles and it makes me feel better <laughs> when they're covered up slightly. Um, but other than that, I'm just like an eye makeup girly, okay? So I got eyeshadow and I don't remember the names of these, but I like just a basic warm brown with a little shiny. I got a bronzer, concealer in the shade Fresh, 
um, the aluminizer, which will last me literally forever because you only need a tiny bit of it. It's just like something shiny to put. I like to do it on my cupids though. Mascara, brown eyeliner, and um, an eyebrow pencil in deep taupe. And that's what I use on my skin. I've got to hurry because really I'm supposed to be milking right now, but I just thought of this video. And <laughs> I'm gonna put my hair out of my face a little bit. The bangs have to stay, obviously. We'll do this. Okay, this is what my face looks like. I am a um, victim of 90s eyebrows. So I was a kid and I was born with huge eyebrows. I had, you can tell by my hair, like my hair is thick everywhere. I have leg hair, armpit hair, mustache, eyebrows, all of it. <laughs> and um, growing up, I was born in an era of thin eyebrows. And what is a girl to do that's born with caveman eyebrows? And my neighbor was a cosmetologist, so I would go down there and get my eyebrows waxed way too Thin. And you know what? Now they don't grow anymore. <laughs> so I've got to fill these suckers in or I look a little crazy because eyebrows are the nipples of the face. If you didn't know that, <laughs> maybe you should see what I'm doing. So I just fill in all the spots that don't grow hair anymore. I'm not trying to make my eyebrows super full. I'm just trying to make them not have this hook in the front. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now the thing about organic makeup versus your traditional makeup is it does fade faster. Like if you wanted to put your makeup on at seven in the morning, it's not gonna be there by four. It's just not, just pack it with you. And if you wanna reapply it, reapply it. Um, I mean, some of it will still be there, but if you have oily eye, I have greasy eyelids, probably cause I put all this grease on my face all the time. Um, but that's the first to go is the eyeshadow, but it's fine. I will trade having to reapply if I wanted to um, versus it soaking weird stuff in, into my skin. Okay, Miss Honey is gonna be so mad that I'm in here showing you guys my makeup routine instead of milking her. <laughs> oh well. Also, I wanted to mention, I'm not, the only thing that I ever put on my face besides that oil I make is I also make like a tallow balm. You can see, I really like it. It's almost gone. It smells like lemons. I will only put oils on my skin. That works for me and only natural oils. So I make my own tallow recipe. That's a really good um, moisturizing night cream because Tallow is pretty heavy um, if you don't have, also, sorry, my, this is how my brain functions, ADD. If you're putting on a shimmer, okay, this has a, sh a, this has a slight shimmer, use your finger instead of a brush because your finger is going to pick up a lot more pigment than your brush will and it'll be way more concentrated if you put your lighter shimmery shade on with your finger just fyi okay now i don't do eyeliner every day if i do i like brown and i'll put it like at the corner like i said i have hooded eyes so if i try to put a winged liner on and i look up like it's all just tucked inside my eyelid so i have to specifically do it but i'm not doing it today and if I do, I smudge it out so that it's not so harsh because you have to have eyelashes and I have no eyelashes. They're so short and stubby. Now I will say out of all the Tubes and Co makeup, the mascara is probably my least favorite. Um, it just, I have no eyelashes. And so to compare this with like a professional, I say professional, a traditional uh, mascara brand is just not really super comparable. Like it's not gonna beat your name brand mascara, but it will not chemically burn your eyes <laughs> if you get it in there. So 
Because haven't we all been there? Jab the mascara wand into your eyeball. I will take a little angled brush in the medium shade of my eyeshadow and use that underneath. Just gives a little warmth. I really don't know what this does. It just is part of my routine and now I just have to do it every time. Okay, got that. Last but not least, well, second to last, I don't always put bronzer on, especially right after I put my oil on my face because it'll stick. I have to wait until it absorbs a little bit. You can see I'm using all kinds of fancy um, tools for this. I'm not, I just use my fingers, especially for this Toops. Um, I think that's how you say it, Toops and Co. Especially this concealer is the word I'm looking for. This concealer is a cream concealer, and so um, it really goes on really well with your finger. You don't even have to buy any new tools. <laughs> you could do your whole makeup routine with your fingers, in my opinion. Um, they just want you to buy brushes so they can have a brush company. This took me all of three minutes, possibly, and I can go out and face the world like this. Now for the hair part, the hair jelly, you can see this. All this is, is flaxseed gel. This changed my life. And I've seen it on TikToks and stuff of people putting it on their face and it's really good for your face. Um, as a mask, I put it on my hair and I do put a little essential oil in it just so it's a little scented, but you don't have to. But look, it's like adult slime. But it's just boiled flax seeds and it turns into a gel when it gets boiled. But um, to refresh my curly hair, normally I would spray it with a water bottle to get the pieces a little wet before I did this. But it's raining right now and so I'm doing my hair for literal just this video because... Um, I'm going to go outside and it's just going to explode with humidity anyway. But, okay, so I was also a child of the 2000, early 2000s, like, you know, in my teen years. And what was the style? Super crunchy gelled curls. Do y'all remember that? Everyone would scrunch their hair and if it moved at all, like, that ain't it. It's got to be just ramen noodle hair so <laughs> to transition from that into soft curls like it's okay to have frizz like that's just your hair um it took me some time to get over that but now we've fully embraced this and um but this gel really does have a cast to it so a cast is like when it gets that crunch it really is like gel. Look, ew, did you guys see that? It blew my mind at first. I'm like, why isn't everyone doing this? I wash my hair about once every week and a half, typically. Um, I can go longer or I can go less. I try to stretch it out as long as possible because I hate having wet hair or I hate wash day. <laughs> but um, this gel will typically last me one week in the fridge. So I have to remake this gel every time I want to redo my hair, which is fine. It takes literally 10 minutes plus a cooling time. So if you guys want to, I'll do a video on this, um, how I make my hair gel. Because I'm not kidding and I'm not being, <laughs> I'm not exaggerating this changed my life. As someone with hair that I, I literally have to have a product, I could never just wash it and then leave my house. All you people with curly hair, you understand. Um, all you people with straight hair, you'll never get it, okay? So this was my um, homestead makeup and hair routine, I guess. It does not have to be complicated. You can put on a little bit of makeup and feel a little feminine while you're out picking up poop and feeding animals and getting eggs and planting your garden and you can still be feminine. <laughs> but my cow Miss Honey is waiting on me um, to go milk her and I'm about half an hour late and she's gonna be real angry when I get there. She's gonna be like, girl, where you been? No one cares if your hair's done. 
Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm going to go out and stop avoiding what I'm supposed to be doing. So thank you guys for watching. Until next time. And after all that, this is realistically how I'm going to go out because it's raining and it's humid and there's my hair is not going to stay. Yeah. Flip her over and you do a little bit of this. And then you go outside and you look like a crazy person so that hopefully when you take this back down, it's somewhat preserved. And that's the problem with curly hair.